Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Walgreens exclusive Funko Pop of Masked Sabine from Rebels. Yeah, this figure definitely can't stand worth a damn and needs the figure stand. I really dig Star Wars Rebels, and one of my favorite characters on the show is Sabine. So when they announced they were making a Sabine pop, I'm like, well, that's cool. But when they announced they were doing a masked exclusive, I said, that's cooler. Because as far as my personal collection goes, I really enjoy Mandalorians. Pops, action figures, all of it. Jango Fett, Boba Fett. And I would prefer to have her in the helmet so she matches, you know, the other Boba Fett and Jango Fett pops in my collection. Uh, the actual body here is the same as the normal body. And it looks pretty damn great. The uh, the detail on the, the, the armor and like just, you know, her pants, the holsters, the knee pads, all of it. Really, really strong work. Also, just like the little paint flex, which, uh, you know, some pops have stray paint. This one should have stray paint. You see it on the purple and the orange there because, yeah, she's an artist and I like that detail. The silver scuffs look good too. Uh, the, the, just the design of the boots and the knee pads look good. The, the sculpt of her holsters looks good. The silver rivets that are painted on. The silver belt buckle. All really strong work. I think the design of this is great. And then you get to the actual torso, which has more detail on it, including the little, you know, the little design there on the chest, on the uh, the shoulder pieces there, the uh, elbow pads look good, and her blasters look great, especially like the little detailed blue and yellow paint on them. It's a good sculpt, the way it rests in her hands looks good. Again, more paint splotches on the gloves. Looks freaking awesome. Here's a shot of the back. You can see a little bobble spring sticking out in the back, but barely from the front. You don't notice anything. The helmet, though, is what rocks on this. Totally, totally rocks. Uh, the design is great. The paint on it, the use of purple and kind of burgundy, the gray lines here, awesome. Now, I do wish that the uh, antenna here was straight instead of bent, but oh well, I'll take what I can get. This was the best paint job I saw in store out of the uh, few that I saw. The typical little Mando design in the back there looks good. Here's the top of the helmet. All the paint on it looks really great. I mean, just looking at this standing here, it looks freaking great. Now, I wish this figure could stand because I don't really like these figure stands. I always get rid of them, but this figure, I gotta have it. Otherwise, you know, it'll fall over. That sucks. But that complaint aside, just looking at Sabine here, standing here, I freaking love this. As a Mando fan, as a Rebels fan, as a Sabine fan, very, very satisfied with this. Love it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.